them are distancing themselves on, on this, at least, you know, one thing. Uh, Joy, it's more of the same, okay? The only thing Trump has to offer the American people is fear. That's what his campaign is sowing in the hearts of Americans. Fear. Fear of lawlessness, fear of socialism, fear of ballots, fear of election results, fear of the transition. So what? this is another attempt at voter suppression. This is another attempt at making Americans fearful of what will happen if he doesn't get elected. This is another attempt of driving people to the vote, some people to the vote out of fear and keeping some people from voting out of fear. And it just, you know, it's not going to work. If you see what we saw in Virginia, uh, where early voting started and people were lining up for blocks and blocks, if people have to walk over molten lava to get to the voting booth, I think many Americans will. And, and the last thing I want to say is, look, I fled totalitarianism. I fled communism in Nicaragua in 1980. Where I have heard this kind of talk and where I have seen uh, unelected and elected leaders try to perpetuate themselves in power is in places like Cuba, where the Castros have been in power for over 60 years, in places like Venezuela with Hugo Chavez, in places like Nicaragua with Ortega and with Somoza. It's dictatorships that behave this way. It's dictators that behave this way. And this is what Donald Trump is trying to emulate.